Good morning, guys. I'm at about 36 hours. Um, I woke up at about 5.30, feeling pretty hungry. Um, I only slept about four hours. Uh, that's probably my least favorite thing about fasting, is that uh, you just, I feel like you have so much energy that you just can't sleep. Even if I meditate and quiet my mind, I still don't sleep very much when I fast. Um, but it's about eight o'clock now. Uh, I think the hunger pangs lasted for about 30 to 45 minutes this morning, but um, I'll keep updating you as the day goes on. Today I don't feel like doing anything. I just want to lay in my bed. Can we kissy? Oh, thank you. That's one thing that'll help me through my fast. Hey guys, uh, so you might think I'm about to break my fast, but I'm really not. I'm cooking this whole package of bacon and some eggs for my nephew. Um, you wanna say something, nephew? Hello there. Yeah, so uh, kind of torturous, but uh, I'll get through it. Um, I'm not really hungry right now. I may go lay outside in the sun and get some vitamin D after I'm done cooking this guy a meal. Hey guys, uh, this is my mid-afternoon um, follow-up. Uh, I had enough energy to clean the kitchen while my wife was out shopping. So I cleaned the dining room, the kitchen, the living room. I also cleaned the bedroom and the, the bathroom as well. But yeah, energy levels are good. Haven't had any hunger pangs since 545. So it's going pretty good on day two. So after I finished making my nephew lunch and uh, getting some cleaning done, I went ahead and came outside to ground myself a little bit and get some of these positive electrons pulled out of my body. I'm also getting some vitamin D and I'm going to try to meditate for a minute. Uh, the reason it's important to try to work meditation and a peaceful mind into your routine is because fasting can uh, raise cortisol levels. So uh, on top of insulin, cortisol is the number one reason people uh, can gain weight from stress levels. So that's why it's really paramount to work a meditation or a peaceful a setting type environment into your daily routine. I'm of the belief that we are all interconnected and there's things that we just don't understand about the world and I'll, I'll have a later video where I kind of go over some of the interesting research I've done on quantum entanglement and just quantum mechanics and I don't know it's kind of how I think spirituality and science are crossing over but we are all connected you really got to let go of any hate that you have feel gratitude for everybody because we're all in this world together i try to not leave any room in my mind for hate even people that have done me wrong i try to just let it go and if you have some of those things that crop up in your mind all the time that people that have done you wrong in the past those things you, you should actually try to focus on try to focus on them and try to forgive and just accept I've done some interesting research. Um, Joe Marshalla is a pretty cool guy. And he talks about how negative thoughts affect you negatively. That was an amazing lunch break. I'm gonna go inside and start working some more. Um, but I did want to bring up another bit of research that I had done a while ago about the farther away you live from the equator, um, the more likely chance you are to have depression. So there is a huge link between getting uh, vitamin D and your depression levels. So if you happen to live in a cold environment, um, I would recommend, I forget which type of sauna it is, but I'll, uh, I'll put it in the video. Um, but I can't stress how important it is to get out and get some vitamin D that isn't a supplement. Your body treats it differently than um, the supplements you can buy, uh, which those have their benefits too. But Definitely try to get some sun exposure daily if you live in a climate that has a lot of sun. Um, but yeah, time to get back to work. It's about 6.30 p.m. Uh, today's been a pretty calm day. I haven't had any hunger pangs since the ones from this morning. Cooking food for my nephew was rough and smelling dinner that my wife cooked for the kids and herself was rough. But besides that, I mean, day two is in the books. I weighed myself earlier and uh, it was 268.2. I'll weigh myself one more time because the picture I took was pretty bad. But um, I guess I'll check in tomorrow.